Hey everyone, I'm going to go ahead and show you a quick trick on how I'm able to get design inspiration in any market very quickly. And this is uh, based on the concept by, you know, the late P Pablo Picasso, good artist copy, great artist steal. The idea is that if you're in a market that there's thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of other businesses that are similar to yours, such as, you know, if I'm a dentist or a doctor, or a roofer, or a, you know, a chiropractor or, you know, any, any normal business, there's going to be thousands, if not tens, if not hundreds of thousands of other websites, people that have already done this. So why reinvent the wheel? What we're going to do is look across the landscape and find the cream of the crop, find the people that have done the best job, and we're just going to mimic what's working. There is no reinventing the wheel in this market, uh, you can come up with a combination of elements and imagery types. Uh, you may be able to make it better as an overall by combining the best elements of all the other websites, but somebody else has done it uh, already better than you probably are going to be able to do it just thinking it out of your head. So why not go and find the best and bring it all together and make something amazing uh, that is better than everybody else's, but that's just because you're borrowing the best elements of everybody else's. Okay, so what you need to do, very first thing, is you go to Google, and the example I'm gonna use here is property management in Seattle. Now, I'm saying property management Seattle, in this first search but what we're actually going to want to do is go to all of the biggest markets in the entire country or however deep you want to go but i usually go about 10 cities and it's just the biggest populations in the country um, there's no real right answer of what markets you're searching for but you're going to find the areas that are going to have a lot of different results that are going to be useful for you okay so i'm going property management seattle and another thing you're going to note here is that um, if i scroll down you will see that i have 100 results on my first page by default you're going to have way less than that so the first thing you need to do is go over to your settings get search settings and take the results per page all the way up to 100 okay uh, then once you've done that, we can come back here and I have this plugin, it's called SEO Quake. And the cool thing about SEO Quake is it allows me to download the data from this page as a CSV file. Now, I'm actually just trying to get the uh, URL of the different sites. You actually can take that um, and get a lot of cool other information, not necessary for what we're doing right now. But uh, it's, a, it's a really great tool in general. So go ahead and just go download the SEO Quake plugin. And then once you've done that, you can come back and uh, done, do the search, get 100 results. Then you save data to a CSV file. So I have Property Management Seattle uh, saving that now. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and show it in the folder. Now... The first thing that you have to do with this file, um, if you're going to open an Excel like I do, um, there's a little bit of a weird thing that, that is a quick quick hack that you have to make um, to make it open properly. And so I'm going to show you the file here. Okay, so at the very top, the first line, you need to add this separation or sep equals um, the semicolon and then save the file. Then you can go ahead and open it in Excel. And I, I hate that there's that weird little trick there that you have to do in the middle, um, but it is just one thing that I have to throw in there. Okay, so open that up now. I gotta close something else real quick. Sorry about this. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the URL column here 
and I'm simply going to copy it. I'm going to go to this pages or page to images.com. There's a bunch of different sites that do this same thing, but batch URL to image converter. So I can go ahead and paste in this list here of all the URLs that I've pulled up. And I go ahead and just click submit. Oh, this is uh, others. Oh, so we got to delete a couple of things. Possibly okay, just the URL at the top. I forgot to remove this line. This is URL. Okay, so now it's progress uh, zero of 100. I got 100 results, and it's just going to go through and make these. And I'll show you what this ends up looking like. And that is here. Uh, we end up getting these screenshots of every single one of the um, property management companies in well, Seattle. I have about a thousand screenshots here of all the property management sites in. Uh, about 10 different cities. I forget exactly how many it did here, but this is what you end up with. Uh, and so I can go through and kind of take some notes of different, you know, what pages people have, what they're calling the pages, um, and different, you know, what kind of imagery they're using, what kind of elements they have uh, on the home page. Some of the better headlines, I can say, you know, this one's not a great one. Um, and actually, you know, the, the majority of the, the sites you flip through aren't going to have the absolute best uh, content on them. So you're really looking for the top, you know, one or two percent of the the sites out there that really speak to you. You think they look beautiful, um, and you think that they have good, compelling content and copy, etc. Now, so note that I'm able to flip through this super fast, and instead of going and clicking on each one and looking at them, um, I I can just flip through these. But if I find one that I really like, I know that in the file name here I have the URL, so I can go to that site and kind of dig deeper on what else they did. Because if they have a good looking home page, there's a good possibility that the rest of the pages look good as well. Okay, so that is the tip for the day. Uh, the overall. Um, strategy that I use to be able to quickly gather a lot of really good design inspiration for a particular market. I hope it helps you. Uh, if you have anybody else that is about to do a website re redesign or somebody that has a website that's not performing well and they want some ideas, uh, please share this video along. I'd love to hear any feedback or any way that this could be done better because I'm sure that other people have other ideas as well. Um, but go ahead and comment down below and I appreciate your time. Thank you very much.